What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be going over every single xenomorph type from every single movie to date, starting with the first movie, Alien, all the way up to Alien Covenant. So let's dive straight into the video beginning with... Alien Overmorphs, or eggs, rounded capsules laid by a queen, each contains a face hugger. They have four petal-like openings on top and will hatch as soon as a host enters within close enough proximity, the first stage in the xenomorph life cycle. Face hugger, a parasitic form that hatches from an overmorph and attaches to a host's face in order to impregnate them with an embryo via the mouth. It dies after implantation is complete. Chestburster, the infant stage of the Xenomorph XX121. It will erupt violently from the victim's chest cavity and cocoon itself to become the final adult form. Drone, also known sometimes as Worker and nicknamed the Big Chap. The adult Xenomorph form when born from a human. It will venture out to find more hosts and begin building a new nest. They are the most common type seen. Aliens. Warrior, a mature drone with hardened armour, usually seen protecting an established hive, characterised by their ridged head dome. Queen, a huge xenomorph and matriarch of an alien hive, it will attach itself to an egg sac and produce xenomorph eggs. This queen made a hive on the colony Hadley's Hope before stowing away aboard a dropship and reaching the Sulaco before it was defeated by Ripley and flushed into space. Alien 3 Royal Facehugger, a specialised xenomorph type which can infect two hosts instead of one. It contains one queen embryo and a regular one. Its purpose is to spread the species via the creation of a new hive. Bambi Burster, the chestburster stage of a runner alien. Runner, also called the dog or ox alien, a xenomorph drone born from a quadruped host, moves on all fours and has superior mobility. Queen Chestburster, an infant queen born from Ripley moments before she incinerated herself. Alien Resurrection Ripley 8, a clone of Ellen Ripley, she was brought back by United Systems military scientists aboard the USM Auriga in an attempt to resurrect the alien queen inside her. During the cloning process, cross-contamination of xenomorph DNA gave her traits such as increased strength and perception as well as acidic blood. Failed Ripley clones, horrifically malformed creatures containing aspects of both Ellen Ripley and the Xenomorphs. Seven failed clones were developed before the success of the eighth clone, Ripley 8. Cloned drones, artificially created by the USM after attempts to clone the deceased Ellen Ripley. They are contaminated with human DNA, giving them an altered appearance including a different colour and a fleshier body. Cloned Queen, created by cloning blood samples of Ellen Ripley by USM scientists. It also contained human DNA and would give birth to the newborn. The newborn, a mutant human xenomorph hybrid which emerged as a byproduct of the cloned queen. Alien vs Predator Antarctic drones, human bred drones intended to be used as prey to test a trio of young blood predators. Grid the Alpha Drone of the Yautja Pyramid. His name comes from a wound he sustained from a Predator net gun weapon. He killed two Predators and helped free the Queen. Antarctic Queen, a Queen held captive in the Yautja Pyramid. She was forced to produce eggs for them before being freed by drones. Predalien Chestburster, the infant stage of the Predalien, this individual was born from the Scar Predator. Aliens vs Predator Requiem, Gunnison Xenomorphs, aliens that infested the sewers and hospital in the town of Gunnison, Colorado, USA, after a number of facehuggers escaped the crashed scout ship. Belly Burster, chest bursters that emerge from the stomach rather than the chest. Pred Alien, the xenomorph born from Scar and responsible for terrorising the town of Gunnison, along with several other aliens. Prometheus, the Black Goo, also called the Black Liquid or the Pathogen, an extremely potent mutagenic pathogen composed of millions of small microorganisms, manufactured by the engineers. 
anathema, humans or other organisms that have come into contact with the black goo, causes grotesque mutations and induces a violent rage, can be transmitted to others via physical contact. Hammerpede, worm or snake-like creatures resembling a mix of a facehugger and chestburster. Trilobite, an enormous facehugger-like creature that serves a similar purpose. Deacon, a xenomorph-related creature, it shares many of their features such as having an extended head and an inner jaw. It was born from an engineer that got impregnated by the trilobite. Alien Covenant Egg sac, fungus-like bulbous pods, they will emit a cloud of microscopic spores which will infect a host organism. Bloodburster, an infant's neomorph, instead of erupting from the chest like a chestburster, it will do so from any place it can. Neomorph, another xenomorph-like organism, a product of David's experimentation with the black goo and engineering human DNA, created when a human becomes infected by egg sac spores. David's experiments, Experimentation on the black goo and its effects by the android David Ayes, there are several specimens of neomorph and xenomorph-like creatures. Proto-overmorph and facehugger, the protomorph version of an egg and facehugger, they work in an almost identical way but have minor visual differences. Imp, the protomorph chestburster, resembles a miniaturised version of its adult form. Protomorph, a primitive early version of the Xenomorph XX121, the end result of David's experiments. So that's the complete list of every type of Xenomorph from every Alien movie. If you think there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comment section. To let me know that you made it to the end of the video, leave a comment telling me what's your favourite Xenomorph from the list and why. If you enjoyed it, then please like the video as it will really help the channel out with YouTube's algorithm, and subscribe too if you don't want to miss out on future uploads like this one. And if you want to check out some of these Xenomorph species in greater detail, then check out my Alien playlist which I have linked at the end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.